We're going to start by graphing x equals 2 and then y equals negative 5. And students often get these switched around. So x equals 2, we go to where 2 is on the x-axis, which is the line that goes left and right. So we put a dot there at 2, which is right there. And a lot of students think we should just go left and right, but it's not that way. We have to go to wherever x is 2. So like up here, for example, this would be the point 2 comma 7. So to graph this, we just go to where x equals 2. And then we're going to draw a straight line up and down at that point. Let's make it a little bit better than that. It's pretty good. And then for y equals negative 5, we go to where y is negative 5 on the y-axis, which is just down 5. That's like our y-intercept. Do note that this equation, y equals negative 5, is the same thing as writing y equals 0x minus 5. So our slope for this equation is actually 0, m equals 0, where in the first one, the slope is actually undefined because we can't divide by zero, and that would be uh, another video. But for y equals negative five, now we're gonna draw a straight line left and right, and that looks pretty good. Now, this time we got some fractions for our slope. y equals negative two-thirds x plus seven. Again, we're gonna start at the y-intercept, which is a positive seven, so we're gonna go up seven. We put a dot right there. Our slope is negative, so we're gonna go down and right from the first dot that we put. So if we go down two and right three, go down two, right three, we got another dot right there. And then we're gonna draw a straight line that goes through both of those points. Now, if we wanted to do this with algebraically, we would wanna put a value of x in that's a multiple of the denominator, which is three. That way it gets rid of the denominator, the fraction, and we're gonna get a nice clean integer for it. So we could either multiply by three, six, or nine. To keep it simple, just multiply it by the denominator every single time. So if we want to do this with algebra, which is totally optional, we would put in a three in for x, and that would give us y equals negative two thirds x plus seven. So negative two thirds times three, put the three in for x plus seven. So negative two thirds times three is negative two. That's not by accident. We wanted to get rid of the denominator a fraction and we did. So we have negative two plus seven, which is five. And this would be the point, terrible handwriting excluded, three comma five. So just to make sure that it's on our graph, we're gonna go right three and up five from the original, from the origin, and it is. So that checks out. In this last one, we have y equals four fifths x minus three. Let's start at the y-intercept, which is negative five, or negative three. So we're gonna go down three, put a dot there, and then from that dot, because we have positive slope, we're gonna go up and to the right. So from that first dot, we're gonna go up four and then right five. So one, two, three, four, and then over five gives us one, two, three, four, five, which is over here. And this looks to be the point uh, five comma one. We'll check that out, make sure that we did it right. But first, let's draw a straight line that goes through both of those points. And if you wanted to find the second point with algebra, we would just put the denominator in for x, because that's going to cancel out. So we're going to put 5 in for x, and we would have y equals 4 fifths times 5 minus 3. 4 fifths times 5 is 4. That's why we put the denominator in for x to get rid of the denominator. And that would give us y equals 4 minus 3. So y would be 1. And this would represent 5 comma 1. Because so we put 5 in for x. So we have 5 comma 1, which we already know is on the graph because we already kind of plotted it right there. So there's different ways to come up with this. So if you didn't have the y-intercept or you didn't have a graph, we could just find two different values of x to put in there. Um, so if you have any kind of questions, ask your math teacher.